Pro Photo Satin. Now we're going to go the next step, which is applying the the settings. Now, as important as making sure we've got the correct profile selected, just as important as that is knowing from the laboratory or from us your correct printer settings. Because if you apply the incorrect printer settings, all bets are off. You might as well have um, no profiling at all, no color management at all. So it's extremely important to know what your printer settings are. Now, I always uh, write myself a little crib sheet. Can you see this crib sheet I've just, I've just written here? Now, don't worry about the particular settings. These settings happen to be the correct printer settings for the profile I've got here. You'll find a lot of these settings are common to a group of printer profiles, but it's very important for you to know what those settings are. Now, usually you find out what those settings are because it comes as a little note with the profile. If you've downloaded the printer profiles, you should always uh, have the settings to accompany them. And if you don't have the settings, don't panic, just get on to us or get on to li the license laboratories. Usually it's us that you get onto straight away and we will make sure that we advise you of the correct settings. Now in this case, let's look at my little crib sheet here. It says perceptual. So going down the bottom there, underneath where it says printer profile, we've actually got here a thing called perceptual. Now the other possibilities are saturation, relative, absolute. So we're going to select perceptual. Now, if I ask the laboratory what uh, what perceptual means or or all the others, they'll give me a very complicated explanation. The reality is, all we need to know is we're going to apply perceptual. It's told us here no black point compensation, so no black point compensation ticked. So we go across here. Don't click black point compensation. Have that unticked. Then what we do is we go up to print right at the top here, where are we? Let's move the camera. So we click on print, then we go to the next, where are we? Here we go. Sorry about my camera work, it's not very good. Um, now what we need to do is go to the next uh, dialog box, make sure we're, again, we're talking to the correct printer, which is the, which is the Stylus Photo 2880. Now the presets, we haven't, we haven't actually saved a preset yet, but we will save a preset. What that is, that's saving these settings so we can easily go back to them. So where we have here, where it says copies and pages, we can go down now to where it says print settings. And again, we're looking at my, my crazy old set of, of uh, my crib sheet here. And I've got, I've got here on my crib sheet that the, that the media type, in this case, should be Epson Premium Semi-Gloss Paper. Don't get too bothered that it says about Epson Premium Semi-Gloss. The laboratory tells us that all that actually means, that corresponds to a certain amount of ink being laid down in a certain way. So the laboratory have, set, have said to us that we actually, we actually apply Epson Premium Semi-Gloss with this particular profile, so we do exactly what we're told. In this case with color, this is the next the next uh, thing on, in this particular case, they want us to do colour. Now for the modern pigment uh, inks, which is the R24, the R2400, the 2880, uh, also the 1900, we always select colour. The laboratory tell us nowadays that we get much better colour and black and white when we use all the channels available to us. So this is the way the licensed laboratories like us to use these ink sets. We go a little bit down now to mode, and, again, and, and here instead of automatic, we click on advanced, and it's told us over the side here. Let's move the camera down a little bit so we got a better we got a better view. So it's advanced, and here we're going to select because they've told us we're going to select photo 1440 DPI, but we do have high speed. The fact you put high speed on there, don't think that you're going to get a hugely inferior image. It's lovely nowadays, these very good printers that you've got here, to use the high speed capability of these printers. The, 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 the actual quality difference is virtually undetectable. 
you you can tell if you put a, a glass on the on the print but from high speed to standard speed nowadays it, it, it's very difficult to see the difference so for general purpose work we would advise you to use high speed what we can now do is go back up to print settings and go a little bit further down to that terrible word color management and again don't worry too much all we're going to do is follow exactly what the labs say so my crib sheet here it, it tells us what we've got to put down here in this case we have to have color controls um, Adobe RGB and they tell me that the gamma that they want us to select is 2.2 now we can now go straight to print uh, or incidentally we could go back up to the top here copies and pages and put in however many we want to print in this case 12 let's say but let's go further up to presets because we don't want to keep repeating this process all the time so we go down to presets and we're going to save this let's go down the bottom can you see here where we've said save as let's repeat that process so you can actually see so we go so we go at presets we go down the bottom, down the bottom there, and right at the bottom you'll see that thing called save as. And we can save this as, let's go up a little bit, sorry about my sluggish camera work, I have to do about three things at once. So in this case I'm going to put in, it's, it's Lyson, let's spell Lyson correctly, otherwise I'll get into terrible trouble, Lyson, uh, it's a 2880 which is the printer, satin, is the okay let's 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 start satin this uh, and also the the size of the paper a4 and it's p so it's a4 portrait we've got to be a little bit cautious here whenever we're sa we're saving presets you've got to be careful that you actually put down what your printer is so you know which one to use the make of the ink the type of the paper the fact it's the format and also the orientation because often when you select a different orientation and format you can lose your your memory of a particular of a particular setup now we can safely go to print and then off it goes it will just carry on now printing 12 reasonably accurate reasonably accurate prints now there's our printer and it'll just it'll just store that uh, those that um, that job so there's going to be 12 prints coming off fairly shortly now this print we've actually produced 